the tire insert craze has swept across the mountain bike industry and you hear it all the time. Everyone's running them. All the race teams are running them and you should run them too, right? Well, maybe, but it's not the best decision for everyone. And for me personally, I haven't chose to race on them this season. Uh, I have in the past, but my thoughts have kind of developed on the topic uh, throughout that time. I think to start, it's like, what are you doing when you put a tire insert into your tire? And I guess what's the end goal? Um, and it seems for me, the end goal is either a ride feel, flat protection, I think mainly from pinch flats because they don't really do anything for tears in the tire and being able to finish a run on a flat tire with some sort of speed. Those are the main advantages I see going to an insert. But for me, I think you can solve each of those problems with another solution that doesn't involve adding what could be 100 grams to each wheel. And I think that that's overlooked a lot. There isn't just a benefit to adding an insert to your tires. There's also a drawback and that drawback is weight and adding it to the wheel is the worst place you can add weight to your bike. And I think that has a really big effect on how the bike rides. And if you're not getting all that benefit out of that insert, or you can find that benefit in a different way, then overall your bike is going to be set up better and you don't have to take on that weight penalty if you don't have to. So to start, I wanna talk about pinch flats because I think this is maybe the strongest argument for running an insert is that uh, it can help prevent the tire from pinching and getting a flat and really just protecting your rim, especially if you're running aluminum rims or carbon rims that you're really scared to break uh, that could give you a little bit more confidence. But what I think should really be the solution to that is running a rim that doesn't pinch tires. And I think a lot of wheel companies are catching on to this is if the lip of your rim isn't sharp, it has a really tough time actually pinching the tires. So with these Envies I'm running, they have this rim strip and it just makes the edge of the rim super dull so it just has no chance to actually pinch the tire zip has a similar deal um, a lot of companies are going to a duller lip on the edge of the wheel uh, for that reason another reason could be that to protect your wheel but i think a lot of this comes down to if you're racing or not because the people that are racing and using this, like say Richie Rude for an example, I think that's someone who should legitimately be running Kushcore because otherwise his tires blow off. Like he's one of the only people that can like take a tire off on command, even with Kushcore in it. And like, that's a legitimate issue for him because he's an absolute beast. But for most people, that's not a problem. <laughs> and keeping a tire on, and getting like the last half a percent out of your tire setup is like not an issue. Like as a racer, you need to get down to like that PSI or half PSI that can keep your wheels together while giving you the most traction. But if you're an everyday rider, you can run just like a pound or two more in your tires and really not have that big of a disadvantage, but like keep all the protection you need for your wheels. If you're worried about protecting your wheels and the durability of your tire for flats, like I think a much more reasonable decision is going to a downhill tire instead of a enduro or trail casing. A lot of people like the deadened feel of the inserts as well. And I think I get that out of the downhill tire itself. That thicker casing just adds a more damped feel it gives a lot of support in the sidewalls. And yeah, I've just never seen like the huge advantage of like re really like that deadened feel of having a cush core or something in your tire. And like I've run downhill tires front and rear with full cush cores front and rear. And it's a mission to get that bike anywhere. It's a mission to get it up to speed. It's a mission to 
like I guess once it's up to speed, it maintains its speed really well, but it makes the bike like really not fun to ride. And yeah, I never got any flats on that setup, but I also never get any flats while running double down tires on normal wheels either. I haven't gotten a single flat this year. And I think that has to do a lot with the wheels I'm running. And then when I need to, I up my casings to downhill casing tires. And I think really like if you're running a downhill casing tire, like it's really hard to flat that thing. I think a lot of people get drawn into tire inserts because they're really popular, but I don't know if they're the right decision for a lot of people, especially given that they're super expensive, they wear out, they add weight to your bike. Like I get that there's advantages to them, but is it really worth making your tire installs incredibly challenging, paying all the money and making your bike heavier? I just really don't know. And the ease of installation, especially for me going racing is like a huge part of the equation. Like oftentimes I'll go to a race on slightly worn out tires or I'll run tires for practice, like, and then I'll put on a new set for the race. And if I have to do cush core, that just makes the whole process like a lot more stressful. And if I do end up getting a flat in a race, then that just makes the whole turnaround time for getting a new tire on or fixing that flat like even tougher. And I have heard of instances of other riders running cush core and it actually seems to not mate well with that wheel because it ends up taking a lot of force from the impacts to the wheel and putting that straight into the center of the rim. And if your wheel isn't designed to like take impacts in that area and some riders i've talked to seem to have experiences where the wheels seem less durable and they have more issues with flat spots and durability with an insert than they would without so it's kind of a toss-up for me i've never gotten used to that feel of having that insert in there and i guess if you're relying on that and if you're hitting corners hard enough where like you really absolutely need that support then go for it but I've hit corners pretty hard in my day and I never really feel the need for that extra support, um, especially if I'm running downhill tires. So that's why I'm not running them. I'm not saying they're not the right choice for you, but I think the industry as a whole has pushed them super hard and you really got to think if it's worth the weight, the price and the hassle to install them on your bike. And uh, for me, thinking about all that, it's not worth it. I'd rather solve my pinch flat issue with a more intelligent rim design. And if I need more support out of my tires, then I go to heavier casings and I don't have to put an extra 100 grams in each wheel. And I guess if you're Richie Rude, that makes more sense, but I'm not Richie Rude. Uh, so I'll just be running my bike with no inserts. So that's my two cents on the tire insert debate but I'm sure a lot of you guys disagree with me. If you are running inserts, uh, let me know why and maybe what you like about the insert you're running. Um, I'm not saying my opinion is the absolute end all be all or if it's the right choice for you. I just like sharing my experience and hopefully that helps you make a more informed decision to choose what's best for your riding. So get active in the comments. Let me know what you guys are running. Let me know what you think and I'll see you guys in the next video.